Hey guys, my name's Lockie Stewart and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, obviously for those of you guys who follow me know that my passion is in health and the mental well-being sides of things and really just how we can integrate that into overall health for people, both physically, mentally and emotionally. Uh, so if you watched my last video or if you've come here because you saw the Instagram short story, today I just wanted to chat about how it's okay for not everyone to value health. And I think one of the uh, biggest things going on at the moment is people are bashing health down their throat or people's throat or it's being bashed down your own throat. And as human beings, we don't like being told what to do. You guys know that, right? So I've been guilty of bashing people down, like being super opinionated to when I'm having conversations with people telling them how they should live. What it makes us so unique is the fact that we all prioritize different values. I think that's so cool that we do that, right? So obviously because we prioritize different values, we either feel in and or out of alignment with that. So for example, if I'm not, you know, my top priority personally is health. Secondly, it's adventure and growth. And if I'm not getting a little bit of that in every day, I feel out of alignment, I lose energy, I don't feel as happy as I possibly can, okay? and. Then when I feel in alignment, so when I'm focusing on health and adventure and growth, like right now doing this video, I feel pumped, I feel like time just flies, I wanna you know, stay up late, do all this sort of stuff, right? Because I'm in alignment. Now, when you're talking to people who don't value health, they feel out of alignment when you're trying to beat it down their throat or trying to get them to consider it. So what can you do if you really care, which you know, the reason why most of us are reaching out to people is because we care about them. It's not to beat it down their throat because face it, we don't like being told what to do. You know that. So what can we do? It's we can help them create awareness and start rethinking their values and beliefs themselves. Now, two ways that I obviously recommend doing it that works well for me when I'm talking to people is asking people what their top five values actually are. Because most people get stumped with that question. They don't know. And I got stumped with that question when I first got asked. I was like, I have no idea. But it also explained to me why I felt so unhappy a lot of the time because I didn't know what I needed to do, what I needed to say yes to, what I needed to say no to. Right? So I was constantly in and out of alignment, which was just like this emotional roller coaster. So helping people get clear on that is the first step. Now, once they've got clear on that, Secondly, it's to then ask them, how does their health positively or negatively impact that value? So for me, I'll use an example of growth as a human, so that's physically, mentally, and emotionally growing, like pushing myself out of my comfort zone, making video content to help more people, to chase what I wanna do and leave the legacy that I wanna leave, right? I need to be healthy, I need to have the energy, I need to, uh, have the memory going, I need to have a functional body that can move my hands around in videos and you know, hug people when I need to and you know, show people that they can do more. Right? That's why health is important to me. Okay? I don't want to be 50 years old and shuffling and can't move my body properly. So I know that it needs to be one of my highest values because if I look after it, it's going to look after growth, it's going to look after adventure, it's going to look after abundance. right? It's gonna look after integrity. It's gonna look after my top five values. Okay, so that's why it's important for me. So when you can start having that conversation with people, so rather than criticizing, you're actually in the trenches with them, getting them to think and asking them more questions, right? Eventually they might be going, huh, maybe health can help me improve, you know, my relaxation time. I might be able to switch off a bit more. I might not have all this fog, brain fog, right? I might not have all the aches and pains. It, you know, the list goes on depending on the value, right? Appreciation. You might get more appreciation when people are appreciating your body, right? So the list goes on, but it's your job to get them to start thinking about that, right? So what positively impacts that value and what negatively impacts that value when you're looking at health? How does that impact their other values? Secondly, you know, go to find out what their description of health is, right? Because my description of health might be radically different to yours, 
right? Yeah, I might be trying to beat down that you need to train four hours a day, eat vegan, paleo, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, hell no, I'm not even touching that. Right? So if you can understand what the person that you care about or if it's yourself, if you can understand what your description of health is, right? And where it came from. Is it a value that you adopted as a child? Is it an experience that you went through that made you traumatized about health, right? You grew up on carrot sticks and kale and you didn't get to have the birthday cakes when you were younger, so you just never want to touch that again, right? We all have these values and beliefs that we adopted when we were younger. So if you really care about someone, once again, don't criticize them, start asking them questions and helping get to understand them so that you can help them start creating more awareness around why they have those values and beliefs and how they created that description of health. All right, and once you've got that description or their description or your description, ask yourself, what do you think or what do they think it will take to achieve that description? Okay, now they might once again think it's completely strict chicken and rice and broccoli to get a six pack and it's like, well, we all know that's bullshit. You can actually have a balanced diet. It's obviously understanding a little bit more. So then we got to help people get educated or re-educated around what it actually takes to achieve their level of health that they want. Because once they see it's achievable, it doesn't have to be as uh, strict and boring as they might think, right? People are then more inclined to look at it. Okay, so I hope that's helpful for you guys. And I know it was super helpful for me because health wasn't always a priority for me. The last, before four years ago, I had like three years where it definitely wasn't a priority. But once I started connecting it to other values of mine, it started climbing the list and now it's at the top. So rather than criticizing people or preaching health to them, have the conversation with them and walk with them. If you care about them as much as you seem to, Right? or if you care about yourself as much as you seem to, definitely take that time and you know, they're gonna appreciate it, you're gonna really appreciate it, and you know everyone's gonna be a little bit healthier. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, first of all, thank you so much for watching it right through and supporting my content, I'm glad you're finding some value. But if you ever wanna reach out, you can find me on Instagram, you'll have seen my tag pop up a few times during this video. Just shoot me a DM, or if you wanna drop a comment below, for sure do that and I'll get back to you guys. But thanks so much and stay tuned for the next one.